Hi all, this is a quick overview of the bridge ports here at Minikaven, just so you have a sense of what they're for. So a bridge port is a vertical milling machine. It's, it's one of the originals. And in fact, oftentimes if someone has another vertical milling machine, it'll just be called a bridge port, even if it's a different brand. Uh, they were, they used to be made in Bridgeport, Connecticut, which is pretty cool. And so now it's just sort of a ubiquitous, you know, globally recognized thing. Uh, name. So in most machine shops, now super like fancy modern ones, maybe not, but like most any classic machine shop, even one that has some fancy tools is probably going to have a bridge port in it. Uh, and oftentimes if you have a bridge port and a lathe, that's about all you need to call it a machine shop. So basically what it does is it holds a specialized drill bit in this, in this collet. Um, which is like a kind of chuck for a for this machine. And it's the, the way the drill bit works is it's an end mill. And instead of just being able to cut up and down, it can cut sideways too. So you can take a block of metal and put it in here and cut things side to side, up, down, left, right. And what's cool about this is uh, you can do very, very precise work. So there are a few things that are cool. It one can cut metal in all kinds of different shapes. And two, we can do it very, very precisely. So down to a few thousandths of an inch. Versus in woodworking, you often talk in like 16th, 30th, maybe a 64th of an inch. This is much, much, much smaller. Um, so that's, that was revolutionary. You can do all kinds of cool new things when you have really precise control of the dimensions. So it can go uh, sideways, forwards, backwards. This is locked right now, but you can believe me and up, down. Um, this is also locked, but it goes up, down. And um, yeah, so that's pretty sweet. There are all kinds of modern modifications that you can put on a bridge port. This one has a DRO, a digital readout, so it can tell you exactly where it is. So you can see this number changing. So you can say, I want to be at 26. 0.418, and again, these are thousandths of an inch, so that's tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So it's very, very precise. Uh, and other things, you can get power feeds on here to move it more quickly, and you could even put all controllers on it and control it with a computer to make it computer numerically controlled, or a CNC. So another upgrade we've, we've put on here is a pneumatic drawbar. So with this, you can put tools in and out with air power instead of cranking it by hand. It's gonna be a little loud. And so that's a pretty great upgrade. Um, yeah, and I think this is a really great tool to learn if you want to get into metalworking. This is one of the two sort of fundamental tools between this and the lathe. And I think it's pretty sweet that it was made in Bridgeport, Connecticut. This actually, so this is one of the ones that was made in Bridgeport, which is pretty cool. And uh, to get, uh, to be able to use this tool, it's not just watch a video take a quiz, get a checkout. You actually have to either come in with previous knowledge, show that you took a class at a school or did work on these machines, or you can take a class here at Makehaven with an instructor. So we hold classes periodically that you can take, and that will give you uh, the skills needed to, um, to operate the tool at a basic level. Obviously, you know, an expert can use this tool in ways that beginners can't even, like, can't even imagine. Um, but that comes with time, and then our goal is just to make sure people are using it safely for them and for the tool. So that is how one goes about using it. Either take the class, and then you're good to go, or you can come in with documentation showing previous experience, and then take a quiz and get a checkout with a facilitator. So that's the Bridgeport. Thanks for watching.